The Oceanside Museum of Art, or OMA, celebrates the historic, challenging, and popular art of four mid-century artists and friends, Richard Allen Morris, John Baldessari, Bob Maffini, and Russell Baldwin, who lived and worked in San Diego. Joining me with a preview of Spitting in the Wind exhibition are curator Dave Hampton and OMA's deputy director and chief curator Tara Smith. Welcome to Evening Edition. Dave, when did these artists create most of their work and what are they best known for? Well, I think they became friends and, and showed in a lot of the same exhibitions starting here in the late 1950s. Um, and they have a lot of different styles. So between the four of them, there's really no way to categorize their sculpture and painting and conceptual idea art events, it's a really wonderful mixture. You mentioned that they were friends. Did they, in, did they influence each other as artists? I think that in some ways they must have influenced each other a bit, but I would say that they were digesting the same outside information from the larger art world and processing that here. So you see similar qualities. We have picked out some pieces where I felt like there was a bit of a commonality and highlighted those. And we're seeing at John Baldessari's image of the uh, the explanation of, of painting and drawing that's that's white with the just just the typing on it. Um, Terrace, give us an idea of the work displayed in this exhibition. There's quite a different plethora of mediums. So you have um, anything from clothing articles to paintings, sculptures, mm -hmm. and uh, photography. There are also two videos in the exhibition. Why did you think this is a good um, exhibit for the Oceanside Museum of Art? Why here? As a regional art museum, this is a very important part of San Diego's art history. And Dave, as the curator, goes really in depth about these four gentlemen and their relationship to San Diego, which is something that's really important to the mission of our institution. As part of the exhibit, so Dave, let's talk about these artists. Are they still working? Well, there are three of them that are still living. Russell Baldwin is deceased. Uh, everybody that's still around is still working very vigorously. Um, so absolutely, they're still working. How are they uh, regarded by the art community now? Now, I think that people in the art community are familiar with most of these names. They were really pillars of this city's art world from the 1950s on. That some of them ran very important uh, college programs at Southwestern and Palomar. John has become very, very famous uh, and is a hugely important international art person. Richard Allen Morris has also gotten a lot of acclaim over the last 10 years, especially in Europe, where people are, his work is very sought after. In going with the, the, the theme of the exhibit, and I'll, I'll start with you, Tara, do you think San Diego is still considered the end of the line when it comes to our art in the, in the larger perspective? I think it depends on your geographic context, but, but yes, I mean, we, uh, we, we are in, in this border between the United States and Mexico, and, and we're that cap. And why is that? Is it just the East Coast has a, a more prominence, or is it just that the, the West Coast, uh, our West Coast artists, I guess I should ask, are they catching up with their East, East Coast counterparts? I think that San Diego and LA have been through some amazing things in the last handful of decades, um, but they're very different beasts as far as the art world in, let's say, New York or Chicago. Um, and, and Los Angeles and San Diego, they're, they're kind of different types of platforms. And what would you say to that? Do you think that exhibits like this are, are maybe helping to bridge that gap and, and sort of marry those platforms? Well, may, maybe. This is really about uh, remembering critical history for me. Um, amazing artists that made a big difference in this community who are not super well remembered for their, those contributions. Um, and I think that San Diego is a much smaller, there's no question, it's a much smaller art market here. It is not the kind of place that Los Angeles is, which is a major center. And that's always perhaps been a dynamic that we've been so close, but in the shadow mm -hmm. of a larger art market like Los Angeles. All right, well, I want to let folks know that Spitting in the Wind, Art from the End of the Line, opens at the Oceanside Museum of Art on Saturday, this Saturday, and runs through November 2nd. Curators Tara Smith and Dave Hampton, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Peggy.